Action. Louis Guido, hi, how are you? I know you were affiliated with uh, Eddie Lama uh, in, back in the day. Tell us about that. So, for those who don't know Eddie Lama, Eddie Lama is the focus or subject of a uh, multi-award winning film called The Witness, and you can find it on tribeofheart.org's website and, uh, and, and other, other places too. It was a film that was produced about uh, 12 years ago, and I think the year was 2000. And it focused on uh, Eddie Lama, who is an activist, animal activist, um, who decided to uh, basically take activism to kind of a new level. So um, he was, just like many of us activists, he was frustrated with um, how to compel people to change, you know, change the way they uh, purchasing, you know, change the way they purchase things. Um, or the way they eat, of course. Um, so he said, why not bring these compelling videos, these graphic videos, to the public? Because if you're just protesting on the street holding a sign, you know, that's only doing so much. So, you know, if a picture is worth a thousand words, a video, a very compelling graphic video, would probably worth be worth millions. a million words. Right. So that was the spawning of, of this um, idea that Eddie Lama had. And, and, and he was a very, he is a very charismatic person, and he was in the film, of course. Yeah. And, and uh, he loved his cat, and uh, he came to animal rights. Uh, it, it, it remind us how he came to animal rights as, as, as a, sort of a, a contractor. He, he had, did manual labor generally, uh, he yep. ran a business. Yeah, he was a contractor. He did windows, uh, window installations, commercial window installations. And so an everyday guy, everyday right guy. here in New everyday York guy. City. Absolutely, uh, you know, real uh, born and bred uh, uh, New Yorker. Absolutely, um, and I think that's one of the reasons why the story uh, that the witness uh, focused on was so compelling was because Eddie was able to uh, break those barriers of, of you know the typical activist, you know the. the you know, the, the kind of like, you're born that way or something like that. And, um, you know, Eddie was just a regular Brooklyn guy, actually. You know, tough, grew up in tough, very tough uh, neighborhood and tough life. And uh, So he constructed televisions uh, in, in, that were enclosed or encased uh, in, um, some were stationary on the street, but some were uh, part of the side of a truck. Yeah, yeah. Well, the way he got into activism is that it, it really started with a cat. Yes. that he was watching, and you'll see this in the witness film, it's much better, of course, than I can, but I'll just give you a quick synopsis, but, but the cat, he was petting the cat as he was talking to his brother, and petting the back leg, <laughs> Rem, so reminiscent of a chicken leg, and he, there was a connected moment, and that was, that started, that was like the spark, it started his, you know, journey, I guess you could say. Um, and then I guess was within, I'm not exactly sure, maybe within a year or two, he uh, really wanted to, he was a, a human rights activist, uh, so he was involved with human rights activism, but he was really very compelled to get involved with the animal rights issue because it just drew, drew, him, drew him so much. And, and so he started going to protest. I, in fact, met him for the first time at a fur protest uh, downtown in Manhattan. And so um, we, we immediately connected and uh, so, so it was through these protests that his frustration started building of not being able to to more easily compel people to make these changes and that's when the idea came about about the video so he was so, what was so he so had built what was so amazing about that movie of course was the ending where the camera turned around and there was a camera that was facing the people watching this um, uh, torturous situations where animals have to exist um, in in uh, commercial uh, activities yeah. where they are the victims uh, in this case it was it was uh, the, the production of fur so the, the, what was so amazing was to face that camera on people and 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 the, the looks on their faces yeah I, I think that is for me and I think for a lot of people that is probably uh, the most important emotional part of the film is to actually see the faces of ordinary people watching the, the, the films that Eddie was showing on, in the van. Um, so, so just to get back for a moment to the van, um, Eddie 
figured that the, one of the best ways to get these videos out to the public is to basically have a, a, a movie theater on, on wheels. So you can kind of, you know, blimp around the city. You know, pick a spot one day, go to another spot the next day. Movie theater one day, maybe, you know, outside of first store next day, you know. So basically a, a movie theater on wheels. And it was brilliant, actually. Um, and so, so, so what you see in the film, the, the reaction of the people, the public, is what we saw all the time. We saw this all the time. In fact, there were, there were people, public, who were so compelled by this, they actually started to, to help us give out literature to the rest of the public that was watching. They were so compelled. I mean, you never get this with ordinary protest. Never. You know, no, nobody's ever compelled to, to actually join you right there on the spot and give out like literature and try to talk to people and say, "Look, watch this." I mean, that's how powerful it was. And the faces of the people. You know, the connection. You see the connection when they're they're watching the video. You just you can tell there's a connection. They recognize you know that this is inherently wrong. Something's inherently wrong with the way we're using animals, you know. Um, and that's what the film I think captured so well. And probably why it won so many awards because it captured all of that well and, and you know was put into a really meaningful story for a lot of people. A lot of people were absolutely moved.